Hello guys, good evening, this is Mike Padawan, we are back to our latest uh, analysis for this uh, Tuesday to Friday, September 19 to 22, 2023, and this is our English version for you by Typhoon 2000, in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. We also want you to check out this website from Comunidad for you to uh, look into the Climate Action Center. And this is a good product for LGUs and uh, different companies that are willing to be climate resilient. Okay, so this is a good product. If you're willing, just go to our website, typhoon2000.ph and click on the first banner and uh, you need to fill up some Google form and after that Aaron Cabasal will contact you uh, or you can uh, contact him directly at 0976-163-7245 or email him. Okay, so let's begin now with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today. This is uh, Tuesday until tomorrow Wednesday and uh, still we are uh, quiet across the Philippine Islands with no major weather system, just uh, the usual localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. So be careful, uh, just take all necessary precautions against possible lightning strikes and uh, heavy downpour that could generate some localized flooding in your respective areas. And uh, by the way, outside of Pau, we are monitoring a low pressure system far away uh, roughly uh, 2,500 or 3,000 kilometers to the east of the Philippine Islands. And this is 96W with lower chances of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours. But within the next 3 to 5 days, it may develop into a uh, tropical cyclone. And the monsoon trough is uh, still active, but quite weak. It's starting to form here across the eastern coastal waters of uh, Mindanao, passing through Palau and Yap into LPA 96W. And we have here a uh, surface trough that's beginning to uh, intensify to the east of uh, Bicol region. This surface trough is worth watching since uh, there's a possibility that it could connect with the monsoon trough and there might be a new low pressure system that will form just to the east of Bicol region sometime this Saturday, Sunday or Monday, okay? So we are going to uh, monitor this one as uh, we are moving into the last or latter part of September. There might be some formation and we will let you know usually if we have two to three weeks of quietness across the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific, we expect that in return there will be another uh, um, set of back-to-back -back tropical cyclone formation but let's hope and pray that it will not affect the Philippine Islands but since we are moving into the bare months these are the crucial months of the year October, November, December where most of tropical cyclones or typhoons tend to affect the Philippine Islands so let's hope and pray that it won't do any harm to our country but we are here to give you the very latest and to let you be prepared when the time comes, okay? So uh, let's be on the lookout across the Western Pacific. Now let's take a look at the uh, fast animation. So there you go. This is uh, the surface trough that, uh, like I said, might develop into a low pressure system this coming weekend. And here's another one, which is already a low pressure system, 96W with lower chances of becoming a tropical cyclone, but it looks like it's getting its act together. We will let you know in the coming days. And uh, the zoom in solar animation completely shows the uh, persistent persistence of uh, localized thunderstorms across the Visayas and uh, Mindanao. So you can clearly hear you can clearly see this uh, new uh, animated graphics from windy.com these are live lightning strikes for the past uh, six hours, okay? So you can clearly see if there are lightning uh, uh, conditions in your area. And uh, this is from the International Global Lightning Network. 
okay and that's why uh, they already included it to let you know if there is an approaching lightning situation in your area since lightning strikes at, at this time of the year and coming years is uh, quite rampant because of the uh, heating up of our planet okay so uh, please take all necessary precautions avoid open fields uh, during thunderstorms just be inside a building or inside your uh, concrete house okay so there you go here's the uh, fast animation from so there you go here's the uh, wind and pressure forecast from windy.com this is from the European model and for the next three to four days until Saturday we're going to show to you the development of the surface trough here okay this is now LPA 96W here's the uh, monsoon trough <coughs> <coughs> beginning to move more to the north and to the east of the Bickel region Friday afternoon here's now the uh, uh, what we are mentioning a shallow LPA that could develop to the east northeast of Bickel region just an LPA but uh, we are going to keep an eye on this and here's 96W moving west northwest to the east of Guam so most likely uh, surface trough is how it did Most likely surface trough is here and coming uh, on Friday, okay, and Saturday, uh, September 23, we could see a possibility of two binary LPAs, one close to the Bicol region and the other one approaching Marianas east of Saipan. So this is uh, quite... Uh, a new situation in the coming weekend since we are already experiencing dry conditions during the past two weeks but this is somewhat be a relief in uh, agricultural areas of uh, Luzon uh, particularly farmers who needed uh, rainfall since we are now in the moderate level of El Nino so this is uh, what we call as a uh, sudden relief so let's uh, Let's see what will happen in this uh, approaching weekend. And uh, here's the rainfall combination for the next three days until Friday. So these are now the localized thunderstorms increasing over Mindanao, Mimaropa, Visayas, some portions of southern Luzon, Metro Manila, Bicol region. And uh, this is likely due to the localized thunderstorms and the monsoon trough moving across uh, the Philippine Islands so there you go that's the latest uh, for this uh, Wednesday evening late Wednesday evening and we will, we will return this coming uh, Friday to give you more updates on the weather and the low pressure area that we are watching and a possibility of another one that could form very close to Bicol region so we will keep you updated on that one this is Mike saying uh, good night to all. Have a great uh, evening. Stay safe always. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.